75%. Gonna keep repeating that. Larry, is this is this where the Cabernet section is, where this sign is? No, and even though they say Cabernet, a good majority of them are only 75% Cabernet Sauvignon. Larry, is this the Chardonnay section? No, there's other Chardonnays down the other aisles, and but these Chardonnays almost 90% of them are only 75% Chardonnay, 75%. I've said this point before, but obviously by what I deal with every day in my life, I think it really covers covering again. Hi, I'm Larry Baker. I am a certified level two sommelier with the Court of Master Sommeliers, and I'm here in South Florida and in the home studio in Sunrise, Florida, as always. Now, if I can change, I used to wear a baseball hat for my bald head, but somebody told me this is the new style. I can change, and so can you, and you need to, because there are over 10,000, 10,000 plus great varietals that are used to make wine in the world, and you think that you only drink one. And Remember, I'm repeating this 75% and I want you to repeat it in your homework. And this was inspired by so many people that I sell a different wine to that they sample. And they go, now where is this? And I take them to Spain or Italy. And they go, you know, I've been shopping here for 16 years and I never even knew this side of the store existed. I only go right 99% uh, of every red wine drinker asks you, where is your Cabernet or where is your Merlot? Where's your Cabernet? Where's your Merlot? Where's your Pinot Noir? Where are your Malbecs? Those four grapes over and over. And 70, if it's made in America, the rule is by law that the wine must contain only 75% of that grape varietal that is listed on the bottle. Are some of them 100%? Sure. You know, I mean, I can mention I have a great customer, Fran McDuffie, who is the wife of the lovely lady. I've been married for quite, I don't even know how long, but it's been a while. <laughs> I think 15 years or something like that. They're going on or more, maybe, I don't know. To O.J. McDuffie, the former Miami Dolphin player, former Penn State uh, Nifty Lion or Nitty Lion. Nifty, yeah, Nifty Lion. Yeah, but uh, she's a customer that was one of those people, just like every, she's a regular person, right? I mean, right? You know, maybe has a little celebrity being married to O.J. McDuffie and a great uh, person on her own in her own career in real estate and all that. And uh, But she only thought she drank Cabernet, but now she only buys Bergerman Lane 2014 uh, from uh, Columbia Valley and Walla Walla uh, Valley uh, area vineyard, because, and it's Merlot. And she said, tell me why. She buys a case sometimes a week or a case at a time or two, three, four bottles every week at least. And she goes, why do I love Merlot? I hate Merlot. Why do I like this wine so much? Because Fran, you, like everybody else, you never had 100% Merlot. And the Cabernets you thought you were drinking is not Cabernet. I don't get it. And people don't get it. So then I show them a phone, a screenshot. Because you can go to almost every winery website, look up the year and the wine, and it'll tell you varietal composition of the wine. And you'll go, I thought it said Cabernet. I just had a beautiful Merlot from Washington State from Millbrand Vineyards, their estate Merlot, which I just love. I just love. Yeah, it had 1.68 uh, uh, grams per liter of residual sugar, but I didn't pick it up. That's not like some California wine with 10 to 14 grams of residual sugar per liter. But it said Merlot on the label, and on the back of the bottle, they don't have to disclose it. It's over 75%, but the wine was comprised of 83% Merlot mixed with 11% Malbec and also 6% of Petit Verdot. But yet on the label, all it says is Merlot. But yet another wine that Fran buys, the Bergerman Lane, is 100% Merlot and they taste completely different. They're two complete animals. One would be completely different than the other, but they all would be listed under Merlot. Sometimes I take five, six wines to prove to people Cabernet Sauvignon's all from America and they taste them and they go, wow, that one's light, that's a Pinot Noir. They try to guess it. Or that one's smooth, that's a Merlot. Number three is, uh, 
ah, that's really big and bold. That's got to be a Cabernet Sauvignon. And then I tell them, guess what? All four say Cabernet Sauvignon on the label, but some of them are only 76% Cabernet, and some of them are not aged in oak, or some of them are aged in only a short time in this type of oak. And they can't, that, all four of these were Cabernet. None of them taste what I think Cabernet. So that's the reason. So you once you accept, like I've accepted, that this hat looks better on my bald head than a baseball hat when I go to Europe or when I travel. Baseball hat looks like I'm uh, some teenager or something, and I'm far from a teenager. You can accept that you're only drinking 75%. It's like the biggest like breaking point for every guest I have. It may take years, it may take 20 years, but I keep trying, I keep trying, and once it hits home, boy, does a light bulb go off in their head. Their whole wine world changes. They become changes. Like the maybe I wore baseball hats for 50 years, but now at 60 years old, I'm wearing this kind of cap. And I might say, uh, I think it looks pretty good myself. I like to look too, you know? But the resistance that once it sinks in and once it does, it becomes, you watch a person just, that smile on their face when they, they, they get out of aisle number one with the Cabernet Sauvignons, where the sign says American Cabernet Sauvignon. So many people tell me every day they've never, never, ever knew we even had the other half of the store with all these aisles. They never knew we had wines from South Africa, wines from Australia, wines from Italy, wines from Greece, wines from, you know, wines from, you know, uh, uh, France and Cote de Rome. What is that? I just go, give me a bottle. Of, where's the Cabernets located? And if that was true and you wanted something that said Cabernet, how come you've never been to the other side of the store? Because Chile makes Cabernet Sauvignon. South America, all of it. Argentina makes Cabernet Sauvignon. Australia makes Cabernet Sauvignon. Italy makes Cabernet Sauvignon. And they're super Tuscans or some are 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. All these countries make Cabernet Sauvignon. But you only went to the... Uh, American Cabernet, because, and those were the ones that are the ones that are only require 75%. So I have so many people for 20 years been drinking the same brand of Pinot Noir that had 18 other grape varietals in it that had loaded with sugar that resembles nothing of the great Pinot Noir. And then you recommend a wine and they're so leery of trying that wine from Spain. That's a Tempranillo, Garnacha, and, uh, and Cabernet Sauvignon blend. And they go, but that's not Pinot Noir, but I'm recommending, I'm recommending it because it's, it's for you. That was my beeper. I, you know, I got my toaster oven on at this hour. What am I doing? But anyway, you know, they, 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 they taste it and they hesitantly taste you know, I, I don't know. I only drink Pinot Noir. But no, 75%, 18 other grapes mixed into I show them the picture. Look at all these grapes, even white grapes mixed into your red wine to sweeten it up. You're not drinking anything. Just the label says Pinot Noir and you don't drink the label. You've never had a Pinot Noir. Oh, I love Pinot Noir. It's the only thing I drink. Then they call you later or they come in later and that's the breaking point. They go, I want five cases of this Spanish wine. And then I give them the tough love and say, why would you want this Spanish wine? It doesn't have Pinot Noir in it. Because I love the taste. Uh, bingo! Bingo! I've got B9 Bingo. Yeah, that's right. You finally hit the home run. You're buying the wine because you like the taste and the price is $7 cheaper than what you were buying that you thought was Pinot Noir. This has no Pinot Noir on the label or in the bottle, but you're buying it because you like the taste of the wine. So until that home run or that light bulb goes off where you could repeat 75%. I want you to even make ridiculous say, uh, hi to the waiter in the restaurant, where would your 75% Merlots from California be? Excuse me, where would you ask in, in a supermarket, where, where do you, if they have wine uh, selections in certain states like Florida does, where everybody's selling wine and Costco's selling wine and big retailer and all these other stores selling wine, ask them, where would you, just to, for practice, and they won't know, they'll think you're crazy, but you'll be practicing, just keep repeating. Where do you keep your 75% Cabernet Sauvignon? Is that a blender with six other grapes? Where do you keep that? Where's your, you want a red blend? No, I want a Cabernet Sauvignon, but you're 75% Cabernet. They'll say, what? Yeah, I want your 75% Pinot Noirs. Where's your 75% Chardonnay? And once that sinks home, you will finally not be those people. You will come out of that aisle. You'll say, I like a light, fruity, white wine. You know, I like a crisp, fruity, white wine. Give me something for 11 bucks. How about Greco Bianco from, you know, Chiro region of Calabria? How about wines? I like a... Uh, uh, like a cherry tasting wine that's got good fruit, but lots of big, rich, chocolatey taste. Well, why not this? 
you know, from Giovanna Tantini, I have this Magnum, uh, uh, I love this wine so much, but the main grape in here is like Corvina, Corvina, but it's got some Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot and Corvina that is sat on the line and raisins a little bit on the vines longer. So it has a really ripe, you know, cherry taste in the Cabernet and Merlot rounded out. Or maybe you'll buy a white, you want a crisp white. How about from Campania, from the town of Avellino, Fiano, Fiano di Avellino. I love Fiano di Avellino. But no, I only drink Pinot Grigio. Well, America, I drink XYZ, California Pinot Grigio. Guess what? 75%. So if you like Pinot Grigio, you might like Greco Bianco, you might like Vermentino from Italy, you might like other grapes from, you might like, uh, you know, other grapes from America. You might like a, you know, a grape that you've never had before, or, you know, maybe you like a, a dry Chenin Blanc, you know, because you like Pinot Grigio, a bone dry Chenin Blanc. Maybe you like dry Riesling, you always thought Riesling was sweet, and maybe you'll have a bone dry Trock and Riesling and like it, because once it's not gonna happen, you will, you, you will never get out of that rut. You'll never change into the hat, from the baseball hat, into the cap, until you keep getting sunk in that when you're asking for American wine, you're only getting 75%. So why bother asking or looking for those labels? Expand yourself and describe the flavor profile. You know, taste a lot of wine, keep tasting, and you might walk home with one of the 9,999 other grapes because the taste is what you like and you weren't drinking the grape that you thought you were drinking anyway. Capisci? Okay. For further information, you know you can sign up for this blog. If you are at a restaurant and you have a big wine list with 900 selections or 1,000 selections and you are having Wiener schnitzel or whatever and you want to get a wine, don't go right to the menu and go right to the, 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 the Sauvignon Blanc section or the Chardonnay. Give me a call, send me a picture of the wine list, FaceTime me if you're local, whatever, if you have my number. And I will tell you, you know what? Try this uh, Gruner Veltliner, that would be perfect from Austria. And you'll say, what the heck is a Gruner Veltliner? Well, you'll learn because it fits into the flavor profile that you like, particularly not by the grape name, 75%. So follow that. So remember, Remember, wine is not for snobs. It's for everyday people like you and me. And keep repeating 75%, 75% of the grape so that we can get you to change. I don't care how long you've been drinking the same grape and asking for it, it's only 75%. And we can get you into the other 15 aisles and you can expand your palate. That's what I'm trying to do. I can't help you until that light bulb goes off. I'll see you next time.